All right, so it is uh, Wednesday at three o'clock. We have to leave Saturday, three o'clock p.m. We have to leave Saturday at five o'clock a.m. Lonnie's cart is just now finished. You just seen the video on that. Braxton's cart you saw a week ago. So now it's Fat Boy's cart. So I talked John and let your boy have a stage one big block instead of a small block because I'm double Lonnie. Right up. If all man meat. And so we're doing a big block. I'm using this razor seat. Uh, I'm going to switch this out. Go Power Sports was out of the seats like this. They have some small buckets. So I'm going to use this one for now, but I will be switching out in the future. So we're getting all of our measurements. So the, the main spindle shaft will be behind my ankles just like Lonnie's cart and we need a 40 inch before the frame kicks up and then kicks back because I'm doing fat tires on it but I want my frame real close to the ground so we're going to start bending notching I'm not going to talk much of this video we're just going to be notching bending slapping stuff together basically Friday night we have to have the trailer loaded so yeah Saturday kind of throws it off and makes it sound like you have more time than you do yeah, it's like Friday afternoon at like six, we need to be loading the trailer, loading the truck up, so everything's ready to go. And we still haven't tuned my pulley on my buggy or nothing. I've tried, guys, I've tried. <laughs> okay. I did go. get metal in my eye Friday, so yeah. I didn't work all weekend. Yeah, it hurt him a few days, and Braxton's been mowing, so uh, it's been me out here by my own for a while. We did have the stage uh, one Tiltson, but again, my weight, uh, it's. It's fair for me to have double the horsepower for double, double the weight. So that's what we're doing. So let's get to work. Stop talking. All right, guys. want to say a real quick shout out to Go Power Sports. I'm telling you guys, they made some stuff happen this week that, um, that made this whole build possible. They were shipping parts out just a couple days before we started this thing and while we did it. So massive shout out to the boys at, uh, at Go Power Sports. We appreciate it a ton. They made this thing possible because without them, you know, busting butt, sending us parts, and uh providing these parts for us we wouldn't have been able to do this so huge shout out make sure to check out the links to all these parts that we're using on this car and the carts we were taking to, to cars and cameras uh just wanted to add that in we love you go power sports i'll kiss you on the mouth let's get back to the video so greg's gonna go with big boy tubing to go with his big boy cart of course it's on the bottom but we're going with inch and a half 11 gauge tubing for his Let's see if I can. There we go. Don't hit your truck. Good eye. Or my car. I like that.
I mean, her legs hit. Okay. So, so yeah. However that looks in it. That's ten three quarters. Nine. Nine. So go to right. Okay. So then you draw these lines straight up to know where to bend this. Mm -hmm. Come down. Yeah, and then we just check it with uh, this is what we do. We do this. Because this is outside. With that. Then we can find out what that bend is. This is assuming these lines was cut straight. <laughs> we had the top notch concrete, guys. <laughs> Remember our pad outside that bad off? It was a foot off square. <laughs> okay. There's our hoop ski boy. Drawn out, that's outside of the tubing. So having a good empty spot of concrete, concrete is really handy. Uh, so now we'll figure out what this is. Wait a second. When you measure that 22, is that center to center though? No, outside door? to outside. Okay. And that's why I put those on the outside. Mm -hmm. So now we'll find out what this is here. And we'll need, then we got to bend a test piece at that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At whatever that degree is on a piece of scrap. So we can use that piece of scrap to lay on top of our tubing and mark where the bend needs to start on each side. If the good Lord's willing and the creek don't rise, then should land directly on it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm saying? Yeah, I mean. This has went wrong before, but it worked out great before, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we see that. 50 50. And you gotta think, we'll have straight legs. So if we need to raise it or lower it, like if we don't like where it, you know, we can raise it and lower it. If my calculations are correct, that's 151, so that would be a 30. 29. Yeah, 29. <laughs> I was about to do some minus. <laughs> so a 29 degree brand. Let's see how uh, close this is to what we wanted. So we know. Who's done that? Because you tried to do a uh, 130 degree. Oh, you're 120 degree bend to see if. So 39 or 29. 29. That ain't gonna work. Yeah. That'll work. What's that reading? That's basically 60, which is 120. That's what we were going for. That's dead on almost. Point, oh! point four off. Hi, <laughs> Colin. Okay, so, so 29 is basically what we need to do. And uh, these tools are linked in our Amazon affiliate page. Those help us out tremendously using those. And these are, even if you don't have a tubing vendor, you can still do this to figure out angles with square tubing if you're using an angle <laughs> grinder or whatever the case may be. Okay, let's go bend the test piece. All right, Marty here. Then why'd you say wait? Never I don't know. Lonnie's like, camera, that's not my job. Let me run and do this. Uh, it's not. <laughs> no, trust us, we know you suck at it. Hey, man. I'm sorry. I try my best. <laughs> so we're just going to make a random line. And if you're using seamed tube, always put your seam up like in my bin. I want my seam dead up because that's less stress on that welded seam. So it's less likely to crack, which something like a 29 degree is really not likely to crack, but something like a 180 or something. Just get in the habit of doing it. Yeah, it's just handy. Handy dandy notebook. Yeah. Oh. I think it's going to be correct. I do too. No, I said, are you thinking? It's going to be 29. I think it's going to be like within 0.5 of 29. Yeah. Sure. That's what I'm thinking. Every once in a while, I keep this thing wrapped up with a grill cover and everything. This is my pride and joy, baby. Okay. Two ten. 
minus 180. What was we looking for? 30? 29? Basically. So yeah. that's 30. That's 30.2. So we overbent by one degree. Is one degree going to be enough to make a difference? Shouldn't be. So we hope not. So now we see what our bend is. And if we lay this, you'll see one degree, you're never going to tell. It needs to go down a little. I can tell. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of where our bend's gonna happen. Don't you agree? Mm -hmm. I don't get how this bend is basically spot Well, it's on. just because when you're finding out your over bend, you can't just find it out at 90. You have you would literally have to bend every single degree to find out the over bend. Because over bend at 90 is gonna be completely different than over bend at 20. Mm -hmm. So that's the only downside. Like you really need to buy a stick of tube that you're gonna waste and cut like foot sections off of it do test bins, test them for like 90, and, and you gotta do it for every run of steel. And that you, you gotta do. write it down so you remember. For yeah. that run of steel. The next time you buy steel, you gotta do it all over again. So that means you gotta go buy as much as you can at one time from the same supplier and test your over bin. That's basically what it boils down to. And that's not counting for like the thickness, cause this is thinner walled than some of the other stuff. Are we gonna have to flip the die now? No. So, a bit long. <laughs> yeah, it's long. <laughs> That's it. Uh, and it can be tweaked because it does look like it's tweaked in on one side. That's fine. We'll tweak it. All right. So yeah, first sure. side tweaked out. Which I mean, hell, for sure, it's tweaked this way. Is it? Oh gosh. It would be better. So we're gonna tweak this puppy out and get her on there. We're gonna do. We're gonna do like 33. Pull me, baby boy. Like that's where I'm gonna cut it off. before the bend happens. Or we'll actually just go in line with this and just... We gotta notch it. Double notch it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So we have a day and a half now. It's uh, currently four o'clock Thursday. We got one full day. We have to load up at like seven tomorrow. So plenty of time. And Daniel's coming back in the morning. He couldn't work as late today. <laughs> this is how much we have on the cart. Oh, uh, we got the main meat and taters. Hey, Greg gets, I think he gets more done by himself than he does with other people. Oh! All right, so we need this notch to come in just like this, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Fire yeah. and I'm going to come. Are you HR? Sometimes. So you're going to have to do it. Now, Tell me when I'm square. We just gotta take this side off only. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, what do you think? Let's get back and we'll take a gander over. So many times in this garage, we, we do something, we go stay 
Before we think back, we'll look at it. We'll look at it. Just look at that. Oh, I was mm -hmm, that looks good. That's a sick looking go kart for a yard. Street go kart is better. <laughs> so, this is how I was telling them it's cool. When we built the street go kart, I was not happy with it. Like, never was. I didn't like my fab skills back then. It's cool to redo something. That's basically what this is the way it was always intended. Because when we get back, we're putting a big block on here and it's going to be a rug deck on us. Or we can do a 625. <laughs> That'd be pretty great, okay? That'd be dangerous. Just keep the slicks on and go out in the field. Yeah, the wah! Just that yeah. just. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got to do steering wheel hoop next. Yeah. Oh, we gotta get this on the ground so you can sit and see how it feels. Here. And we're gonna see how heavy it is. <laughs> Three so far. The pounds. floor pan's gonna be aluminum, so that ain't gonna have much weight. It don't weigh that much. It looks um, like a sled, <laughs> a snowball sled. It's already popping wheelies, really, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it already knows. Oh, it's the bolts on the seat. We only have the driver's side bolts ah. on it. So that's throwing them that much. That's almost a half inch. Yeah. Idiot. Oh my gosh, broke Look it. how comfortable that is. That might be right. Hold this hoop. I mean, that's perfect right there. So grab that angle grinder. So you have there. to do the same style. Yeah, I'll have to do the whole U joint dilly dally, and that means taking apart a few go karts outside. Get done, <laughs> Aubrey's steering thing. We'll have to pull the one off the blue go-kart. Okay, now I gotta make my plate for in here and get this steering stuff mounted. So on this floor pan, we're doing alumini so we can do these uh, carriage bolts through the floor so the bottom of the go-kart will be smooth because this will be getting suspension in a month or two, whenever I feel like it. <laughs> and now we're, this is gonna protrude past the front and we're gonna have to bend it to clamp on that, jet clamp it. So we're just gonna stand this way. Rexton, you need a nut boy. You can go get you an impact with a half inch on it. Mm. That one maybe a 760. Um, giraffe. A giraffe inch more my way. Anytime you build a frame like this, she's going to be tweaked. Right. No way around it. Un unless you don't tweak it. That's true. That'd be nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now, do it like that. Upside down. Nope. Yep. Oh, that's real nice, Clark. And then we can trace it. Whatever we trace it, we got to take three quarters of an inch off of it. So it'll land dead center of the tube. Stick one there. Stick 
That's about on that row. All right, guys, so um, that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out the links for the Go Power Sports parts used on this car. I'm telling you guys, Go Power Sports came in clutch on this one. Uh, we had them sending parts two days before we was leaving, and they got them here on time. Massive, massive shout out, and thank you to Go Power Sports for sponsoring today's video because this car could not happen without them. Uh, so basically, when this video was being shot, um this was the last day this was friday when we put that floor pan in it was about seven o'clock on friday afternoon so uh, after this we loaded up the trailer got all the stuff loaded up other than this cart and uh we went on working till three o'clock in the morning so uh stay tuned for friday's video where we'll be finishing this and you'll finally get to see it right at john's uh, so pumped about it. It's freaking sweet that we was able to accomplish this huge shout out to Miss Redbeard to Lonnie Braxton and Daniel for all coming out and giving me a helping hand uh, Because by myself there was no way I could get this done in three days So uh, Daniel came in welded everything out for me, so I didn't have to bother with that uh, Lonnie came in helped notch and cut stuff Braxton as well and Miss Redbeard always uh, giving us an extra eye making sure we don't mess up and making sure you guys get content so huge shout out to the crew could not have made this happen without them. Uh, and massive shout out to Go Power Sports, which is also part of the crew. Uh, I'm telling you guys, they helped out a ton. We probably worked them guys to death, uh, but we really appreciate it. So stay tuned to Friday's video. Hope you like the cart so far. Uh, it is a, it's a sick cart, so I can't wait till you guys see the final product. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and on TikTok. Uh, where you can stay up to date with behind the scenes stuff and uh thanks so much for watching we love you guys and god bless